Hey everybody, I'm Tracy Thompson. You might know me from the web series Africa in the City. Right now I want to introduce you to someone who's very special and dear to all of us, especially you, right? His name is Dr. Njakri Damages. Yeah. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York! Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that a woman sued her 12-year-old nephew for the injury. Yeah, injury she sustained when the boy jumped into her arms to give her a hug. Oh, it's true. The, the woman claimed that she yes. lost her balance and broke her wrist when the boy ran to embrace her. Really? Yeah, yeah. She told That's the court. She told, it's true. She told the court she couldn't pick up. up, that she couldn't pick up a plate as a result of her injury. What? <laughs> now, in her lawsuit, she is now claiming damages. Can make way for you? They're calling her the ant from hell and the antichrist. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> now, can you do something like that in the city where you live? Mm. Can you? Okay. No, of course. No. Can your aunt sue you in your city? Mm -mm. Until then, I don't want to ever hear you claim that you live in the land of the free <laughs> and the home of the brave. <laughs> I know. Talking about New York City women, eh? Have you heard that we've got a new president of the United States of America? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah. President I'm Hillary good. Clinton. Did you see her performance in the last, uh, the, first, the first Democratic, Democratic so Party the presidential debate? I'm so oh my God, oh my God. She nailed it with just wow. one phrase. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary won the presidential uh, debate. Hmm. It started when CNN Anderson Cooper took the ball into the 18-yard box hmm. and passed it on to Hillary's only serious challenger, hmm. Bernie Sanders. Hmm. Wow. That was when Anderson asked uh, Bernie what he thought about Hillary's uh, Clinton, um, what do you call it, S scandal, the email scandal. Watch. Let me say something that may not be great politics, but I think the secretary is right. <laughs> wow. Yes, yes. When a, politician, wow. when a politician starts a sentence with, let me say something that may not be good politics. <laughs> Nothing good ever comes after that. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so what came after that? Watch. And that is that the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you know? <laughs> your damn emails? Yeah. Me too. Wow. Me too. Me too. <laughs> now, even Bernie knew that he blew it. He knew it when Hillary came to him and said, he shook his hand and said, <laughs> see, watch. Enough of the emails. Let's talk about the real issues facing America. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bernie. Thank you, Bernie. Wow. Thank you, Bernie. <laughs> now, when it was time for Hillary Clinton to return the favor, that was when she was asked, what about Bernie Sanders' uh, stance on guns? Here is her answer. Watch. Secretary Clinton, is Bernie Sanders tough enough on guns? No, not at all. This has gone on too long. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hillary said, no, 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 not at all. Not, not at, all. at all. She went for the juggler. <laughs> now, see, see, things have changed a lot wow. for women politicians in America. Of course. But the same cannot be said about female politicians in Uganda. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ugandan police and women. Eh? You think policing in your country is bad? Mm -hmm. Think again. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't want to confront the police in Uganda. Hey. Especially if you are a woman. Hey. <laughs> now, not long ago, we brought to you, we showed this to you. Ugandan police did this to a female politician, all in the name of arresting her for public disorder. No. Watch. Please, you people! The manner in which FDC's Women's League leader, Ingrid Turinawi, was recently arrested. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That was, that, that was, it sparked a serious protest from activists. Of course. Look at them. Why do you print press? Why do you print press? Huh? You want press or to keep Okay, be calm. Do you want press? Be calm, you're out of order. You are out of order. Why do you print press? Why do you print press? Kairaka must come out and apologize for mothers. Be calm. You all fed. You have to apologize for your mothers. When you violated. Yeah. The acts 
TV, they, they, they say to the police, you want breast, have it. Because, because it's, that is the issue with Ugandan police. They have issue with breast. You want it, have it. Now, last week, last week. Just when you think that Ugandan police, they've learned their lesson, one or two things from this incident, this happened again. Watch. This is not the first time women are getting undressed upon arrest. Why are you undressing me? Why are you undressing me? I'm trying to make you undress. I'm undressed. On 19th May 2015, an FDC lady was undressed. Oh yeah. That was an opposition member of parliament getting stripped by police in the course of an arrest. What? And there, there are more, there are more. Watch. Protest to bad governance. No. You see, this is what I'm saying. Uganda, Ugandan police, they need to behave well. They need to behave well. In Kenya, women revolted when they could not deal with men misbehaving. Hmm. Here is how Al Jazeera reported it. Watch. 25 years ago, a group of fed up women led an exodus and took matters into their own hands to free themselves and started a movement in the Samburu region, creating the first village where no men were allowed. <laughs> wow. I said, can you, what? Ugandan police, are you, are you watching that? Can you imagine? If they could do this in Kenya, they could do it in Uganda too. I'm telling you. The establishment of Amoja was an inspiration to many women in neighboring villages who have risen up to take control of their local governments. Look at, look at, look at the women. <laughs> now, this should scare all you bad Ugandan men out there. I'm warning you, how did Erufai say that? For your own good, shape up or else. Shape up. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the Ugandan president, uh, Museveni, he's busy rapping. Today, these young people talked to me about this rap because I was not following what they were saying. You want another rap? Yes, you want another rap? Yes, <laughs> he's, he's, he doesn't care. So, so, we in East Africa and South Africa, when men are misbehaving badly, you want a man of integrity to speak of course. up of and get things back in shape. Yeah. And what better leader do you find than the South African president, Jacob Zuma? So in light of what policemen are doing in Uganda, mm -hmm. and being that Jacob Zuma suspended the South African police chief over the mistreatment of minors, mm -hmm. we sent our crack reporters to South Africa to get his opinion on what Uganda needs to do to put its police force in shape. Wow. Watch. Our membership figures stood at 769,800 and... Wow. <laughs> no, 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 don't panic. Don't panic. He will get the numbers right. Don't panic. Let's, let's, let's... 700. Listen properly. 769,820. <laughs> no, 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 I said, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, le just wow. listen properly. He will get it. He will get it. Yeah. And seven members down from 100 and 100. Point two million. Wow. Did, did he say hundred million South Africans? That's what I heard. <laughs> the, man, the, man, the man must have been the, must, maybe he met Jonathan and they started. <laughs> now, Woo! now, now, men should be very careful. Hmm? Of course. I, I'm, I'm warning you, especially African men. Hmm. Last week, the former governor of Bielsa State of Nigeria, mm -hmm. the man who gave us present good luck, Jonathan. Mm -hmm when in 1999 he handpicked Jonathan as his deputy. Handpicked? He, he, personally, he picked him from unknown place and oh, said, God. be my deputy, because he said Jonathan was not ambitious. <laughs> anyway, oh, the man died. Wow. The, great, the great Alamesia died. Hmm. The governor general of Ijo nation, and by the grace of God, the first elected president of the Republic of Ijo land. Bless 
dead. I, I can't. I shouldn't be saying that now because he's dead now. It's not anyway. He died. So, he died of heart attack. Is the man rest. It was very sad. For a man so large, what did I say? Scratch that. What? What? Scratch that. What? For a man larger than life, uh -huh. to just die like that, it made me so sad. Mm -hmm. eh? The man was rushed yeah, to the University that. of Potako Teaching Hospital. Uh -huh. Why? Why are they taking people to teaching where they are learning? Anyway, he was yeah. rushed to the University of Potako Teaching Hospital, where yeah. he died after two days in coma. Uh, yeah. I heard what all of you are, were saying on social media. You, 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 you. I, I saw it. You Where is your humanity? Eh? Do you not have sympathy? Where is your, where is your, uh -huh. Do you have no shame? Eh? Didn't you hear that the man was in Dubai getting first class treatment at a hospital when the British started sending signals that they want him back in UK yeah. to answer charges for that old money laundry matter? Eh? Yeah. You remember that one? The one that he escaped wow. from jail. He jumped jail. Bell. And um, was it not Linda Ikeji reported it and he dressed like a woman? Mm. How did you no, know? no, Linda did not report. Anyway, someone reported it. I don't know. Sure. Anyway, anyway, any, anyway, <laughs> who cares about facts? <laughs> Alamesia died. That is, that is a fact. Because of his history of dodging from the law, eh? some of you said you would not believe that he died unless you saw his body inside a coffin. Mm. Wow. Touch it and make sure that it wasn't made of clay. Really? How dare you? Where is your humanity? Where? <laughs> now, when did you Africans become vicious? A man is dead for mm. crying out loud. Mm -hmm. What happened to not saying bad things about dead people? I don't understand. For me, my, my only regret, my only regret is that I just learned how to spell his name and he died. Why? That, that should be a warning to you all. Even I start learning how to spell your name, you should be afraid. You should be afraid. Eh? At Onzerebe, I'm, I'm learning how to spell your name. You should be afraid. Anyway, the governor of his state, Mr. Dixon, mm -hmm. lamented that Alamesia died because he was stopped from getting first class treatment abroad. Hey. Just like former governor Abio did when he had a minor accident. Wow. These people have no shame. Ababio did not just carry his bag and went to the UK for treatment. Of course not. He made sure that he first of all built a first class hospital for ordinary people in Akwa Ibom. Of course. Now, Dixon, Dixon, what first class hospital have you built? What did you build, Dixon? Uh, go, listen to me, Governor Dixon. Was it not last week, or was it not last week that Alamesia came to campaign for you? I wonder. Was it was he not there? When you looked at how big his stomach was, hmm. didn't you worry that should something go wrong with him while he was campaigning for you, that you would need to rush him to a first-class hospital? Exactly. Now, what first-class hospital did you have in place for him? I Dixon, Dixon, instead of you to apologize that you, his governor, you were negligent, hmm. you were busy making him out. I'm sure that Alamesia left a first-class hospital in, in Bayelsa State Did before he was impeached in 2000. I must have done that. Sure? Because he was impeached in 2005. Hmm. Now, most probably, you and Jonathan, who came after the great Alamesia as governor of that state, you failed to maintain the world-class hospital that Alamesia left behind. Uh. I'm sure that's what happened. Now, to be fair, it wasn't only Governor Dixon that came out to defend Alamesia. The former governor of Delta State, Mr. James Ibori, came out to defend Alamesia. Hmm. Oh yeah, in a statement he issued from his prison cell hmm. in London, Ibori said, and I quote, yeah, wow. Alamesia was not corrupt. Yeah. He only built one house. Yeah. I know, I know. That statement made many of you mad. Eh? But Ibori was right. If there's anyone who knows about corruption, it's James Ibori. Yeah. He said that Alamesia built only one house. Only one. The rest he stole them. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just presenting facts. Now, being a nice guy and very sympathetic guy, Ibori also added in that statement that Alamesia, if he had agreed to chill with him in London prison mm -hmm. instead of jumping bell, mm -hmm. that the man would have been alive today. Wow. Yeah, because in London prison they have first class hospital. Can Yes. I know, I know. I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. But I, I don't get it though. Eh? Whatever happened to that court's uh, perpetual injunction saying that nobody or anything should touch people like Alamesia? 
doesn't bet know how to obey court order? Bet, are you, don't you obey court order? Why is it that we didn't see some youths carrying uh, placards telling death to leave our alamis here alone? Why didn't they tell that, uh, that, look here my friend, if you want to join Nigeria's fight against corruption, you have to start with people like Bola Tinubu and Olusegun Obasanjo. Uh -huh. wow. Why are our youths suddenly quiet? What's wrong with our youths? It's crazy. Oh. Now, I'm talking about quiet. It was not quiet at the Nigerian Senate last <laughs> week yeah. as they conducted the screening of nominees for ministers in the yeah. Buhari government. Yeah. Mm. Wow. It was not quiet, it was pure entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The corrupt were asking the corrupt questions about yeah. corruption. <laughs> Let me say that again, because yeah. people, the corrupt were asking the corrupt questions about corruption. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the clash of the maggots. Oh, maggots. Yeah. <laughs> now, as expected, some came to take a bow. Hmm. They just came and just said a few things and then they took a bow. That's it. Like, yeah, here is, is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here is the reaction after former governor of Anambra State, Dr. Chris Ngige, came out in front of the Senate hmm, to it, seek their confirmation. Wow. He spoke and spoke and spoke and then he took a bow. Watch. Wow. Bring your hand. 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 Well, there you have it. The first bow and go. This time, no questions were taken. Um, Senator. Dr. Chris Ingige came into the Senate and uh, he's been accorded all due respect. He spent less than five minutes there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Can I shake your hand? Oh, wow. That was it. Everything gone. No question. Nax. Nothing. Nonsense. Now, former Governor Fayemi was asked one question about 50 million naira bed he bought <laughs> as governor of Ekiti State. <laughs> they said, why did you do that? <laughs> you know his answer. He said, if anyone could produce the receipt showing that I spent such an amount, <laughs> let him produce it. Yeah, it was both. And that was it. it case, was case closed. Non case closed. I say nonsense. nonsense. If these senators were serious, they would have been the one that would produce the receipt and say to him, explain to us. <laughs> But they are not serious, they are cuckoo, all of them. Oh, oh, don't even let me start with Fashola. Eh? That former governor of Lagos State eh, was asked about 78 million he spent on personal website. And that 100 million naira boho. Mind you, mind you, the man studied hard for this screening. <laughs> and you will guess that he will come up with a brilliant answer. Watch his answer. And some people have been surprised to learn that as governor of Lagos State, I don't know about other states, I don't sign checks. None of my commissioners signs checks. I have never signed a check. I don't fix contract prices. It's, a, it's an institutional process. The only training I have is that of a lawyer. <laughs> wow. He said, I don't, I don't fix contract prices. Yes. As governor of Lagos State, I didn't sign checks. Hmm. I have never signed any check. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nobody told me that the bot stops at the desk of the man who signed the check. Hey. I tell you, I tell you, we have to open up the prisons in Nigeria. Oh and free all convicted armed robbers <laughs> who did not pull if you didn't pull the trigger we yeah. free you sure and, the, and the ones yeah the ones that that just accompanied we are accomplices you know accompany them like the ones that drove the getaway car yes. we should free them <laughs> and the ones who were just looking out exactly. we should we should free them because they did not sign the check yes. they did not shoot yes. nonsense. nonsense you know i get it i get it it was one of those uh, that's what Fashola is telling us. He was there, the head, the governor, everything, but he didn't sign the check. Mm. Nonsense. 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 Now, that was how it basically went down. Mm. The great screening you've been hearing about. Interview. Yeah. Now, some senators just used the opportunity to promote themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Like, so, so like for the first time. Yeah, yeah, for the first time we had the voice of people like uh, Tinubu's wife. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Senator Shehu Asani, 
Hmm. Use that opportunity to remind us of when he was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't forgotten the prison food he ate. Wow. Meanwhile, Governor, you know, Abio, the former Governor Abio, he reminded us of the first class hospital he built in his state. Hmm. Is that an achievement? <laughs> You know, one day, one day, this is my hope, one day, the governor of Delta State mm. will spend a billion naira to send these confused men and women to a workshop abroad yes. so that they will learn the job of being oversight of the executive, exactly. yes. what it actually means. Mm. Just one day. Until then, yeah. until then, this is what you get for screening. This yes. is it. Yes. Look at them, look at them, look at them. <laughs> Nonsense. This is a segment we call Secrets of Picture. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand words. Yes, yes. The picture you're looking at, you've, you've seen several pictures of mm. President Buhari and his vice president, uh, Oshi Banjo. Mm -hmm. mm. You know him? <laughs> Most people don't know him. Yeah. Now, yeah, the first that you're looking at, the first picture went viral. This is the first picture of two of them that went viral. Mm. Now, the, a lot of people gave it captions. The best caption for this picture came from the man who said that this was uh, after Buhari returned from a trip abroad. And the vice president was saying to him, Baba, Baba, why you were aware? <laughs> the Senate president, Saraki, refused to listen to me. <laughs> he, he called me an ordinary commissioner. <laughs> you know, you know. Now, things have changed since then, you know. Now, it is um, the Senate president that is asking to meet with the vice president. Mm. During Nigeria's Independence Day event, we saw this picture, this new one, yeah, of Buhari and of Shibanjo. Uh, laughing and walking away from the Senate uh, president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at look at him. <laughs> In that wow. picture, the vice president was talking to Buhari. Was saying to Buhari, uh, "Let's just humor him for a little while." Yeah. <laughs> as soon as as soon as he confirms our ministers, we put him in his place. Wow. <laughs> Bad sons. Yes, yes. Mr. Yemi. <laughs> as soon as he fin they are confirmed, we put him in his place, and they were laughing. Like, <laughs> Anyway, here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. APC candidate for governor in Kogi State, Mr. Audu, unveils three-point agenda. You guys know the governor, the yes, candidate. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The one that um, promised to refund the $11 billion that he stole. Now, he gave us his three-point agenda for this election. Number one. Hmm that he will steal 11 billion naira to pay back Kogi State the 11 he stole the last time. What? <laughs> wow. Number two, that he will marry another wife. Huh. He, yeah, he recently married an 18 year old. Oh, 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 oh. And his number three agenda is to go to Saudi Arabia and stone the devil. Huh. More like, why can't what? he stone himself? You know what, anyway, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Buhari's ministers are practical, energetic, and of good reputation, hmm. says The Economist. You know The Economist magazine of London? Yes, yes, no. My issue is this. All these foreigners say, eh? they, they've all joined APC, don't you think? No. They have all joined APC. Why? <laughs> why are they telling us about the ministers? We know our ministers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Woo! anyway. Uh, why power supply improved under Buhari, says ex-power minister, Professor Nebo. Mm. You guys know Professor Nebo? Yes, no. He blamed no, no. the problem with power with witches. Mm. Now he's now saying this is why it improved. He said it's not because witches could read Buhari's body language. Mm. He said that what happened was that most of the witches died in the basement of Prophet T.B. Joshua's uh, collapsed building. Ah! I didn't know that. I didn't. Did you what? know that? I didn't know that. Didn't know. That was what happened. They died, so they didn't give them problems anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. EFCC arrests former governor of Benue State. Hmm. Do you know the guy? They, they arrested. Yeah. They arrested the man. Wow. <laughs> I said. I said this is nonsense. Don't believe this story. Hmm. Unless the EFCC they release the mock shot of that man. Hmm. The same way they give us mock shots of all these Yahoo Yahoo boys. <laughs> if you don't see the mock shot, don't believe them. Yes, they did exactly. not arrest the guy. No, I don't think so. <laughs> don't let them deceive you anymore. Mm. <laughs> now, this mm. is a very important story. Mental case. One out of every six Africans are mentally unstable. Whoa, what? This what? is World Health Organization. Wait, what? World Health Organization. No. What? No. 
I'm like, who? Africans? No. What? We reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. We reject it in Muhammad's name. Amen. Yeah. If if there's anyone mentally ill, is this who people? Yeah. How can you say Africans mental? Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> you are simple, man. Hey. The Zani was not arrested. Hey. Only invited. What? Hmm. That's what the family is saying. And they are threatening to deal with critics. Hey. Like you and you and you. <laughs> now, now here, here is the video of the critics, their reaction to this news. Watch. This is a serious story. Man cuts his manhood <gasps> after being caught raping a 12-year-old girl in Ogun State. What? Now, this is a serious issue. Now, what I'm doing is this. I'm begging all our prayer warriors. Where are they? Can, mm. they, can they join me in saying, may this man's kind of spirit of personal responsibility huh. be upon all hey. our Tiffin politicians? Hey. Can I get an amen? Amen! We want them to cut off whatever is making them steal from us. Can I get an amen? Amen! <laughs> Crazy people. Now, now, no sacred cow in anti-corruption war, hmm. says the vice president. Yes. Wow. The, the, the man is serious. He said, no sacred, no, nobody. Huh. When asked about Bola Tinubu, the vice president insisted that the man is an Ijabu cow ah. and not an echo or sacred cow. Ah. We have to differentiate the two. <laughs> Oba Sanjo, blame colonization for Africa's underdevelopment. Mm. The, the former president is the, saying that we should blame colonization mm. for Africa's underdevelopment. Huh. I say this is a smart man. Yes. How I wish we could make a man like this a president of a, a big African country for mm. just, just 10 years. The man will, will reverse colonization. Was he president already? Was, was he president? No. Yeah. <laughs> I, for, I forgot. I, I totally forgot. I, I, I was thinking that if we make him president for just, just 10 years, he will fix at least Nigeria. <laughs> Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> Fela's American girlfriend performed at Felaboration. Huh. Hey! You see? You see? Hey, you see? Hey. You see? This is the reason why I wanted my Afghan girlfriend to be on the 200th episode of this show. Huh. But Mamudoka won't let that happen. Mamudoka won't let that happen. If Fela had uh, his American girlfriend, my Afghan girlfriend should be on my show. Mm. Don't you think so? Yes. <laughs> but Mamudoka, they agree with me. Stop, stop. You're fired. Stop, stop <laughs> de de destroying my progress. Last week, we asked you to send us your best zinger based on Professor Pius Adesami's book, Naijano de Carry Last. Huh. No, 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 no. We received quite yes, a lot. Yeah? Here are some of the yes, Here are some of the examples we got. You know, Shino wrote, Naijano de Carry Last because Naija they celebrate mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Olayinka wrote, Naijano de Carry Last because now we be last. <laughs> <laughs> Omar wrote, Niger no they carry last because mm. we they carry first for mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> well done, yeah, I know. <laughs> Yazid, Yazid wrote, Niger no they carry last because whatever you are, whether good or bad, mm -hmm. ugly, mm. someone here is better than you. Yes. Hey! <laughs> now, now, <laughs> now this uh, Elisha wrote. Niger no they carry last because we are smart. Mm. So, so, that one is true. So, we now want to invite one of our friends of this show to mm. come and help us hey, pick the be best. Mm. Yeah, the, the, you pick the first winner of Pius Sadel Smith's book, Niger no they carry last hey. from this list. Um, the magic, come on, come, come, come. Yes. come. Yes. The magic. Welcome, welcome, welcome Dr. to the show. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's nice to see you again. Nice to you. So you've seen the names and yes, the list yes. and what they said. Who yes. do you pick? Who do you think I, deserves I, I, an autographed copy of this best-selling book? I think I'll Is go with Omo. Omo? Omo. Omo. He wrote. Wow. What did he write? Nigano they carry last because they carry first for mediocrity. Wow. 
Ah. Okay, okay. Congratulations some more. You are the winner of the autographed copy of Pius Adesame's book. Woo! Congratulations. Yeah. So if you want to win, send us a zinger that completes this statement. Niger, no, no they carry last. Because. No, because. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> so send it to uh, your entry to drdamages at gmail.com. All right. It's now time for your emails. No. Nice, man. Nice. nice. Good. Does it work? You said nice meeting you. <laughs> it's time for your email. It's time for your email. Wow. Tomato Joss is back. You know, which means she won the battle last week. So, um, <laughs> do we have emails today? Who said I'm back? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were here. I'm substituting. <laughs> ah, of course, right. I have emails for okay. you. Okay, so let's hear the emails. Okay, our first email is from Mohammed Ali Udeba. Hi, Mohammed. And he writes. We know him, don't we? He's no, you friend. know him. Oh, it's my I friend. Don't. Okay, I don't okay. claim them anymore. Ah, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. What did he say? Mm -hmm. He said, Dear Doc, you need to diagnose these power holding companies. They are overbilling us now. How do they expect someone that earns 30k to pay 7 8 for power alone? Are we working for NEPA? Now that power has improved, it's not that we get it 24-7, no. We used to get it like 10 hours a day most of the time, mm. at night, and we cannot afford to live without power. Wow. Plan A is salary. Mm. Plan B can be corruption, no. He said, but you are the best. Thanks. Ah, thank you, my friend. I, I know, I know. Over billing, you know. That's mm -hmm. that's a new problem that people have in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It's the same way with the phone companies and the bill they charge for data. That's why some people cannot watch this show because data not. is very expensive. Of course not. Now, ah. that is when you need a government that cares about their people. Eh? If the government will allow all these businesses to do whatever they like, they will milk the people dry. Maybe eventually they will say to Nepa, it's not for the poor. Mm -mm. They've said that before, don't you remember? Yes. Of they course. said that phone is not for the poor. This is not for the poor. They will say that Nepa is not for the poor. I hope the Buhari people, I hear them saying that they will jump, jack up the, the price of mm -hmm. electric. We'll mm. see. People cannot pay. If they're making 30000 maybe, you see, they won't be able to afford to pay it. But people should be able to have electric in their homes. Of course. They are giving right. I'm telling you. <laughs> We are watching you, Vice President. Stop saying that. Consider the people. <laughs> Next. Okay, our second email is from Anonymous. Anonymous. Mm, I don't like that. Whenever you hear Anonymous, something. You mean is that he doesn't have name or he chooses not to use well, his name? I, I don't know. Okay, it let's let's hear let's hear what he's saying. He writes, "Hi, Doctor Damages. My name is Anonymous." The main purpose of my writing is for the Dr. Damages show to help in an investigative journalism on a particular higher institution of learning mm. under the license of the so-called Nigerian University Commission with the leadership of Professor Julius Okogi. Mm. Wow. Situated, he called the name of the man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Situated, and that's why I said it's trouble. Mm -hmm. Situated in the Asian town of Owo. Owo. Yeah, oh. that's mm -hmm. that's. I used to ah, be there. Yes, I, I, yes. I, I grew up in Akure. Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I still have a girlfriend Are you guys too done? there. Are no, you guys done? Okay, done. Okay, okay, go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Oh, and to be precise, Archivers University. Oh, Archivers mm. University. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got feelers about how errant and callous the management of the school had been what? on the issue of non-payment of workers' salaries. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. As that when do? It was even said. And I quote, mm -hmm. we have once been owed seven months salaries what? in a particular year. Mm -hmm. Seven months. This school mm. is owned by an APC member of the house. What? Is, it, uh, is that the change we are talking about? Now, thank you, Mr. Anonymous. <laughs> thank you for the email. You know, we have forwarded your, your email know. to the people at Sahara Potters over there. Um, I'm sure that they will look into that. Hmm. In the meantime, I will send my crack reporters to a work. Of course. To check out that university and, hmm. and talk to the workers. Of course, why How not? can you owe them for seven months? Hmm. What are they eating? Who is who is feeding their families? They will change their names to Underachievers. Underachievers. <laughs> and, they, and they call it Achievers University. Um, and they are APC. Oh. <laughs> nonsense! By the time we finish with you... Uh, the, no, no, yeah, wait. By the time say. the Sahara people... Where are they? Me, I'm By the time the Sahara people finish with you, <laughs> are they there? <laughs> Next. Okay, our third 
email is from Christopher in Onisha. Oh, Christopher, mm. that's our friend. Onisha is, you know, I used to go there. I don't there. claim them anymore. No, no, I know. I used, to cl- I used to go there, Onisha. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this and he writes, your, yeah. <laughs> who is this person in the audience he's, always he's a talking member about? He's a member ah. of the audience, yeah. Hmm. He's, he has certificate. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. License. He said, good evening, doctor. Do you know it has been over six years? We haven't seen Nepa. Six years. At my hometown, Uwela, wow. in Idoto North, Imo State. Idoto North, yeah. Idato. That mm-hmm. is where, um, what's his name, the governor of Imo State. What's that guy's name? The governor of Imo State. I don't know. Rochas. That's I near where know. he is from. I think so. Go ahead. Go ahead. He said, just see pictures of what people comment when a sister just posted up Nepa in our group. Wow. Anyway, this is my first email. I enjoy oh. your videos. I don't miss it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Christopher. You know, you Thanks can see how uneven watching. things are in Nigeria. Why some people are complaining that their power is uh, expensive. Mm-hmm. Some people are saying we don't even have power. No of electric. Course. Eh? So, so some people are saying the tariff is too high. Mm-hmm. Some are saying we don't even have the power to pay. Mm-hmm. Give us light, we will pay. Never. I was told that uh, Rochas Okorocha, he watches our show. Governor, governor. What? I hope you will do something about this. Quick, quick. If there are two people, need, they need to have their own uh, beer frozen in their fridge. Yes. Their that's own what, pe- what? The beer. You know, that's what people are complaining about. They put <gasps> beer in the fridge now because we have power. It will be frozen. Yes. They don't expect it anymore. You but don't think give about them food power. No, nobody, nobody talks about food. No, people want their I'll beer chill yes. before they drink it. I'll pray for Next. It. So, hmm. Christopher, thank you so much. We will pass this message to Rochas. He will deal with that. <laughs> Next. Okay, our final email is from Shay. Already? Final? Yeah, final. Oh, Why wow. not? Okay. From Edmonton AD. Ed- okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he well, writes. Yeah. Hello, Dr. Damages. Yes. Huge fan here. Woo! I have this crazy thought about some names on the list. Yeah. I think that President Buhari nominated the likes of Fashola and Amechi, knowing that the Senate may not put them through after the screening. And if they do, it's a win-win for him. If the Senate rejects them, hey, I tried. And if the Senate approves them, hey, the Senate put them through. Regards <laughs> to whichever nurse is on duty. I know, I since know. Since you now change them like clothes. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that mm. it? And kindly quit uh-huh. this in Adiola. Oh, I'm suspecting uh-huh. you've got a secret crush on her. Uh-huh. All the best. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> first, of, first of all, I am sure, I'm sure you have witnessed what happened in the Senate. Mm. So no need talking about that. Mm. Nothing happened. They just let them bow and go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, talking about this in Adiola, mm, if you think I'm dissing her now, wait until December 11th. When we share a stage in New York City, with her. Eh? oh yeah, I'll bring you more details. But hmm. in the meantime, look at the flyer. <laughs> eh? yeah, it's gonna happen. We, next week we we'll talk about that more. What? Yeah, yeah. This is news no, to this me. This is news to many people. But we're this telling, is news just to wait me. until next week. Hey, making moves behind all that people's backs. That's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at drdamages. Here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book Wisdom is Not Cheap Mm-mm. by Marcel Prowse. Huh. And it says, we don't receive wisdom. We must discover it for ourselves mm-hmm. after a journey that no one can take for us or spare us. Wow. Did you hear that? Mm. Very deep. You have to take that journey. You have to take that journey. Nobody will spare you. Nobody, they can't give you Mm. wisdom. Mm. (laughs) Now, until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. (laughs) So, Timothy Jones, any any thoughts about wisdom? Or any, what do you have to, what do you, how was your week, by the way? You know, I don't get to ask that There was once a man who had wisdom. (laughs) What happened to him? Solomon? He's not in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, this is inside joke. Inside joke. Inside joke. So, so to my, are you About looking? my week. My week was lovely. Ah. I had a lot of fun. Uh, uh, people, yeah. people called you from Russia and the Malaysia. No, just Sweden. <laughs> oh, so, ah. <laughs> you, know, you know, she's been oh, sneak, sneaking out from here <laughs> to go to Europe. We, we don't know what's going doctor, on. We are watching. Doctor, we are watching. We are watching uh, so many things. You are watching. Wait, wait, <laughs> we are, wait, 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 we are watching wait, so many what? things. So I think we have some news for you. Just few, in a few months, it will be difficult to hide something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Doctor. 
I can see. How can like, you say I, you know, something like do- that? I'm a doctor. Oh you know, I'm a doctor. God. So keep keep watching. 